In Australia, we use the so-called Australian soil classification system, which comes up with 14 soil orders. These are the main soil types here in Australia. And we want to have a look later on on one of these most widely spread soil types here in Western Australia. So the classification system basically works with the identification of certain physical and chemical properties in a soil, which will change from area to area. As we have just heard, we have 14 soil orders in the Australian classification and there are soils like the organosol, which have a lot of organic material, or the rudosol, which is just rudimentarily developed like the desert soils in the center of Australia, or the anthroposol, which basically developed a mine waste material and other material that was produced by human activity. But here I want to introduce you to the so-called chromosol. Chromosol is a soil which is among the most widespread soils used for agriculture here in Australia and specifically also in Western Australia. Chromosol belongs to the soils which have as a striking feature a so-called texture contrast in their profile. By texture contrast we mean that there is a different distribution of sand, silt and clay fractions or the particle sizes of the material here of the soil throughout the profile. We have a very sandy top part and a very clay rich subsoil part. We classify this on the basis of the pH in the subsoil on the so-called B2 horizon, which is in this case uh, over pH 5.5 in measured in DI water. And that is the threshold limit to classify it as a chromosome. Would it be below pH 5.5? We would simply classify that as a chorosol.